let me introduce you to Copycat. This is our new Sindaver anatomical feline trainer. It's designed to take the place of feline dissection in the classroom. Our goal is to try to engage this with students so that they can actually learn mammalian anatomy without having to sacrifice a cat to do that. Um, again, going through the kitty, I'd like to start with the nose and work my way to the tail. We start with the muzzle, the nose, ears. We have the lymphatics, lymph nodes, vasculature. We have the, the facial muscles represented. Also, we have a liftable so you can actually see the trachea and see the vasculature, the cephalic, also the muscles along the arm, specifically the biceps, triceps, the pectoralis muscles are represented. The chest plate removes, identifying a continuation to the heart of the vasculature, as well as the esophagus, the trachea bifurcating to the lungs, and also the heart where we have the uh, descending aorta, caudal vena cava, and all the vasculature moving to the diaphragm. The abdominal um, plate specifically is containing thin tissue organs, which gives you a level of realism, just like a live cat. It requires dissection, opening the, via the linea alba, which is here, opening that space, and then identifying each organ. The lower half contains the, um, the vasculature of the lower leg, the uh, femoral artery and vein, also the muscles of the back leg can be identified along with the patellas and of course the feet and tail. The rectum and other um, caudal aspects are also represented. Again, the diaphragm and abdominal cavity is one piece which contains all the organs, so we'll go ahead and dissect that now. So I'm cutting along the linea alba to expose the abdominal organs within. What's revealed is the omentum and the intestine beneath. So I'm going to, in this iteration, I'm going to use a gilpie to hold that open and kind of remove, reveal the organs. So this is the omentum. And you can see, extend this further. See the stomach right here. You can see the liver right there. Gallbladder. And then tucked in with, the, with that is the spleen, just right here. the spleen and then we have the intestines revealed the bladder we have the reproductive tract again this is a female so we have the ovarian part there's the ovarian artery there's the suspensory ligament, broad ligament, and the um, body of the uterus. We have the intestine, these are small intestines. And then the stomach, which I can remove. There we go. This is revealing the stomach in total, the pancreas. It has, of course, your flexure and then going down to the duodenum and, of course, as I mentioned, the omentum. The kidneys are also represented and the vasculature. But we do have the right and left kidney and the renal artery and vein, as well as the vasculature of the abdomen. And then 
and we'll set this aside, and we'll set this aside to reveal that. And then of course the liver, which also can be removed, along with the spleen. So you can see the different lobes of the liver, of course the vasculature within. In this case, the esophagus goes through there. And then of course, as I mentioned before, you can see the gallbladder, and then how the gallbladder comes down and connects. So the aspect of this is with these thin tissue organs, is that it is modular. You can see the relationship of the organs to each other. You can explore the abdomen, identifying the organs, as well as then reassemble the organs in the proper positions, as well as it allows you by removing them to identify the deep structures in a very realistic way. It's the tissue colors and the, the um, textual consideration too is kind of taken into account. And again, you can also see the vasculature and even underneath the rectum and in this case the vulva represented on the back side of that. So once you've done your identification of the different organs and gone through that protocol, you can reassemble it, putting these back inside and then can always reference it in the future. Once completed, you want to take the syn tissue abdominal core, remove it from the cat and store it in water. If stored in water, it will last almost indefinitely. The necessity is to keep the water treated and to make sure that students wear gloves when they're handling it to lessen the bio exposure to the tissue. But it's realism as well as textual consideration, all is maintained. There's a container that's sent with the cat and it's fairly simple. All that you have to do is take the abdominal core pod out. And it slides out of the pelvis, and here it is in completion, and then place it in the container so that it is submerged. As long as it is kept submerged and the chemicals placed in the water, it could be kept indefinitely. The design here is such that this part that's interfaced can be used over and over. However, it is replaceable, and so perhaps for each new student, or if you want to have a pristine, you would then be able to have the new one and cut it. But once cut, its value is still there. You can reassemble it, you can explore it, you can use it for reference down the road, so there's value there. The storage of it in this container, you just put it on the shelf, and then when you're ready to reassemble the cat, it simply comes out and can be reconnected into the frame. Syndever provides educators with the highest quality hands-on learning tools on the market. For more information, contact us at syndever.com.